Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to arrange or organize your YouTube subscriptions in order to make it easier to find what you're looking for. How we're going to do this is we're going to install an extension in your browser. If you're using either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, then there is a free browser extension that you can install that makes this really simple. The name of the browser extension is called PocketTube, and what we're currently looking at is my Google Chrome browser. And I already have it set up. So we have YouTube uh, subscription groups and I've created maybe like 14 groups. And then these are all my channels. I'm currently subscribed to 147. I don't want to uninstall and destroy everything I've done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open uh, Mozilla Firefox and we're going to create the exact same setup in my other browser. And if we just look at this, it's a mess. You come here, you know, it says show 141 more. There's no order to it. How, how it's arranged on the left side, it's really chaotic. What's going on here is that in the browser, uh, YouTube used to have the function where it let you organize your YouTube subscriptions. And in 2015, they got rid of it. They promised they were gonna bring it back, newer and better than ever. However, they're never gonna bring it back. The reason why is because YouTube figured it out that people who subscribed to a certain number of channels and then only followed those channels, like they were able to find them very well and that's all that they were paying attention to, they weren't spending as much time on the platform. But people who couldn't find what they were looking for and were constantly being bombarded with all of these new channels, new videos, new content, they were spending more time on the platform. So YouTube deliberately sabotaged their own users uh, setup in order to confuse them and then bombard them with new content, new channels. Uh, you know, they, they, want, they want to keep you on YouTube as long as possible. As a business decision for YouTube, that makes sense. But as a user, I was incredibly frustrated. I remember when they got rid of the ability to organize your channels. You know, when you come over here to subscriptions, it doesn't, it's just a chaotic mess. I mean, the only way to organize this is between tiled or list. And yeah, this is just, it's really terrible. So we're gonna install this browser add-on called PocketTube and it's gonna make it a lot better. If you're using Google Chrome, you can go to the Chrome web store and it's just called PocketTube YouTube Subscription Manager. It's got almost 2,000 reviews and it's basically got a five-star rating. I'll put the link down in the description so anybody can find this. But in this video, we're gonna set it up in my other browser, Firefox. So if you go to the Firefox browser add-ons page, once again, I'll put the uh, link in the description down below. Once again, you're looking for PocketTube, YouTube subscription manager. It's got almost 3,500 reviews, basically a five-star rating. This add-on is 100% free. It's completely safe. There's no viruses. If it's in the Chrome store or the Firefox official store, it's been screened. It's, it's perfectly safe to use. From here, we're gonna click Add to Firefox. The little jigsaw piece icon says Add PocketTube YouTube Subscription Manager. It requires your permission to access your data for sites in youtube.com, store unlimited amounts of client-side data. This is once again 100% safe, so click Add. Next page, it says thank you for installing, and then there's a little tutorial uh, how to set it up, but you're currently watching a tutorial, so just watch me do it. Real quick, if you wanna see where it was added, you can go to the hamburger icon and then go down to add-ons, and it shows you how you can manage, turn off, turn on your browser extensions. Uh, this works for both Chrome and Firefox. So if I ever wanted to turn it off, all you do is you click this little slide icon. It now is disabled. You can turn it back on. You can turn it on and off if you want for whatever reason and you don't lose any information. Navigate back to YouTube and all you have to do is refresh the page and then the browser extension should activate. On the left side now, it'll show you subscription groups drop down. You don't have any currently created, so you need to create a couple. So let's create a couple groups, and I'm gonna choose the titles Learning. We're gonna add that, and then we'll do Military Channels, add that. Finance, let's do Finance, Finance and Investing. Let's add another one, Credit Cards. Let's do another one, Pop Culture. Pop culture, nope, pop culture. Now there's a couple different ways that you can group your channels. The first way you can do it is to go down to your, uh, your channels. 
let's click on my buddy Nam Win here, and he is personal finance and investing. If you go over here, there's this kind of a hamburger with a plus icon. Click on that, and I can now select what grouping I want this channel to be on. And we can go finance and investing. And whenever you do anything, you always have to refresh the page. So let's hit refresh. When we then go to the finance and investing folder, Nam Win's page will show up there. So if you want, you can just go one channel at a time and you can categorize it. Let's go to Graham Stephan and we can, we can go to the icon and we can put this under finance and investing, but you can add it to multiple groupings. If I wanna add it to both finance, investing and credit cards, we can then go back up here. Once again, always hit refresh in order for the browser extension to recognize what you did. And then here under finance investing, I have two channels. Under credit cards, I have another channel. The next way to organize your YouTube channels is to click on subscription groups. It then shows you everything on the right side that you're subscribed to. And what you can do is you can then just click and drag. So from uh, military to mil millionaire, let's add that to military channels. We have Airman Vision, Military Channel. We've got TSP for Gov, maybe a Finance and Investing. Points Pointers, we can add that to credit cards. And just one at a time, add them all in. The next option you have for organizing your channel is to go to the group you created, then click on the gear icon. This is actually a lot faster, but if we just click on the individual icon, for example, Credit Shifu or Waller's Wallet, if you just click on the icon, it'll check mark it on the right side, and then it's been added to that group. Let's go ahead and add Dave Hansen and Brian Jung, and who else do we got here? Travel Explorer, click. Once you've added everything that you want to a group, you might wanna give the group a new icon. If you come up here and just click on the blank gray folder, we can then switch this to one of these predetermined icons, maybe just a bag of money. That could be my icon for credit cards. And that's pretty much how you set it up. We can go back to Chrome and I can show you a little bit more of my finished product. These are all the groups I have. You'll notice there are numbers next to the group. So if we click on learning, there are now all these blue dots. The blue dots signifies that something has happened on that channel since I've looked at it last. Either they've posted like a, a daily update or they've uploaded a new video. Now, unfortunately, within the groupings, there's no way to subgroup it. Somebody asked me that once, and I, I, I don't see a way to subgroup within groups. Additionally, once you get into the group, for example, my learning group, it's getting a little crowded. It's once again, not in alphabetical order. So even within a group you know, of 20, 30 channels, you still are gonna have to scroll through in order to find what you're looking for. Other things you should know is that this browser extension currently only exists for Firefox and Google Chrome. I don't know of it existing for Microsoft Explorer, Edge, Opera, or Safari. Additionally, it doesn't work on your phone or iPad or mobile device. And I don't know of it working for a smart TV either, unless you're viewing through your smart TV with the Chrome or the Firefox browser app. Additionally, this only works for the one computer that you're on. If you have, for example, a desktop and a laptop, you're gonna have to individually set it up in your Google browser on your laptop and then your Google browser on your computer. This isn't a cross-platform thing. It's not, it's not happening on the internet. It's happening on your local computer's browser. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. If you have any questions about how to set this up, then go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. I post weekly about military and finance topics, but I will cover anything that I personally use and I recommend to other people as well. Till the next video, take care.